Hey everyone, it's Michael with Long Way Travels. I just had the best two hours of my life flying a business class flight on Starlux Airlines on the A350-900 from Osaka, Japan to Taipei, Taiwan. For this short haul flight, I enjoyed full service, boba, and a lie flat seat. That is right, boba on the plane and a fully enclosed privacy door. Join me in my experience as I fly luxury in the sky aboard Starlux Airlines from Osaka to Taipei. So my journey starts in Osaka, Japan and Kansai International Airport. The airport consists of two terminals, one and two. I'll be departing from Terminal 1 from Osaka to Taipei, Taiwan. Time to drop off our bags for check-in. Business class passengers have a separate line to check in their bags. Oh, looky here. They're using a special Miles Morales Spider-Man tags for your bags and for all you Marvel fans. Interesting detail as we are given special fast lane TSA tickets to get through security quicker, which is a separate line from normal passengers. Finally, we are at gate, gate 30 is where we will depart to Taipei. But since we are a bit early, let's check out the Japan's airline Sakura Lounge, which is literally steps from our gate. So here's a quick overview of the lounge as it provides general amount of seating as well as a great view of the runway of the planes. The food offered for the time we were there was a bit disappointing, but it's better than nothing to be honest. And of course, here's a quick clip of what we ate from the lounge, and also an additional clip of, I guess, the resting or silence room. Hey, what's Mike with Long Way Travels? I'm gonna put the board Starlux Business Class on the A350-900 from Osaka to Taipei. Anyway, let's get on that plane. Business class, here we go. Could this be the greatest two hour flight of my life? Let's find out. The business configuration is a nicely designed one to one format with aisle access on all sides. My seat of 2A provides an enormous amount of space to relax or take a nap, with the option to lie completely flat if needed. The seat has enormous space as well. If you're feeling cold, a blanket is provided and a pillow as well. If you are flying Starlux Airlines, choose the A350 as that one has a partition for you to sleep or eat in privacy. The seat controls allow you to put your seat in light flat mode, angle, light control, and even call for assistance as well. As for Wi-Fi, it is complimentary access for business class passengers and it was so strong that I was able to live stream, which if you want to check out the video here, but I do apologize for the poor fit quality. And of course, a convenient cable to pull out right from your IEF monitor for eating. Let's move on to the food portion here. Here are pictures and options for lunch as you will receive a starter, a main dish, and a dessert and of course any assorted beverages and of course here for lunch I chose the Asian style. Alright we're in our seat we got our food ordered now sit back relax and let's watch this plane take off. Anyway listen to that nice music. So it's a short two hour flight but observing the alcohol menu I decided to go with the Sci-Fi Cosmos 2.0 because why not? And also the flight attendant recommended it as well. For lunch, starters were yam salad with persimmon rolled with vegetables and nan bin marinated horse mackerel. With the main dish being pork with sesame sauce. And of course to end we had steamed rice. And of course we had some wakami seaweed soup and pickles. Overall, a very good food experience. I enjoyed the starter, the finish, and of course the main dish here, which was this pork with sesame sauce, which I thought tasted spectacular. 
And for dessert, we got mochi and fresh fruits. And of course, the main event, boba on the plane. All you gotta do is ask and you shall receive. Nothing crazy, but yes, just the experience of having it on the airplane in the sky. So after eating, how about we decide to do a bathroom tour? So let me show you how it looks. So nothing crazy, but a nice touch of the gray color. Oh, this interesting fake flower. And really nice, that's a very clean bathroom as well with all these nice amenities and soaps. Let's move back to the seat review where we have the IEF monitor where it's a nice bright entertainment screen and can be controlled with a remote or by hand touch and also poses a really decent collection of movies and shows to watch. The Bluetooth option and functionality is pretty cool as you can connect your wireless headphones to the IEF screen. I love how Sarlux Airlines offers wireless charging options. They also offer headphones, which the case is branded with the Starlux name and the logo is on the headphones, which needs to be plugged into the monitor for use. Here is a glimpse of the first class cabin as it is not available on these short haul flights, but I was allowed to show you what it looks like. The biggest difference being that there's more foot room, there's more seat space, there's a mini bar, there's a bigger IEF screen, and of course, there's extra storage for yourself and your headphones. And in a preview of the middle class area of the first cabin, the biggest difference really is that big divider between the two seats. You get a goodie bag at the end of the flight, and if you wanna see what's in it, stick around till the end. Well, two hours and 30 minutes have gone by just like that, and we're ready to land in Taipei, Taiwan. And yes, we finally made it to Taipei, Taiwan. Also, when you land, there's a priority baggage claim area for business class passengers where you can grab the luggage in a second. Sorry about that. Now that we land, let's check out what's in the goodie bag from Starlux Business Class. So as we come here, we've got eye mask. Pretty cool, right? All right, next one we got. We've got these cards, I believe they're some kind of goodie cards. I'm not sure. Starlux brand cards, Christmas cards, stickers. Pretty cool. <clears throat> and then you got snacks here, and the reason I got this goodie bag is because I was asking if they provided no one to two hour flight. Originally the flight attendant said, well no, not really, we don't. And then they came back and gave me all this stuff. So more rice crackers, this is nuts here I believe. So that's pretty cool. And then we've got yeah, toothbrush. Probably not needed for a two hour flight, but they provided one anyway. Like I said, I wasn't asking for anything, I was just inquiring. And then how about these plane cards? Plane cards, Starlux, pretty cool. I actually got two of these, so. And then we've got another toothbrush, more snacks. And I believe we've got one last thing, which is, uh, last thing is last, earplugs. Otherwise, and that wraps it up for my Starlux business class flight from Osaka, Japan to Taiwan, Taipei. Please let me know in the comments what you all think of my experience and whatever. I do believe it's probably the best two hour business class flight you can get, especially internationally from Intra Asia. And that's it in all my videos. Make sure to like, share, share that kind of content going forward to anyone going forward. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Life is short, travel more everyone. Stay to the end of the video and see some clips from my awesome stay from Taiwan. Otherwise, I'll see y'all later.